Let's talk about getting your greens, have some life to them. Very often, you know, when these greens are in the sunlight, if you use the, the, the high chromium green right out of the tube, it can look a little fake. And the natural tendency is to want to grab some yellow and put it in there like that to uh, make it look like the light is coming through the, the, the leaf or something. Well, that's good, but I've often found a good secret is to, is a kind of counterintuitive over here to add some orange into it. Now, look, that went a little too orange right there, but what it's doing right off the bat it's warming it up without making it even more uh, greener, more kind of candy green, you know what I mean? So there we go, now that green right there is a nice warm green in the sunlight. You can do it again, now this time not with the cadmium orange, but let's get some burnt sienna in there and see what the burnt sienna does with that green. All right, there we go. Now this is more like an, it turns into an olive green. So this green here is good because it is that green of kind of, leaves that have kind of fallen and withered on the ground uh, that you want to put also uh, in the, in the foregrounds of your paintings. Right there, so look at that. We got three different greens right off the bat with very little effort. By not going to the yellow, by using the orange and the, and the, and the burnt sienna, we can get other options and variations in our green, which as you know, in painting, you got to keep the dynamics there to keep the viewer guessing what's going on, what color is going to come up next. And I find that using oranges and the burnt sienna with my greens enable me to keep that dynamics.